Konnichiwa minasan, and Moro7 here, your host at Richie Rich Labs, and today we're gonna sh talk about how to set up your mobile gaming controller, the backbone, so you can play some Genshin Impact, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 4, and more importantly, stream your Xbox games from your console, the PlayStation 4, like this one over here, PlayStation 5, and even the Xbox Game Pass Cloud version of games, to your iPhone or Android device. Let's do this. Okay, once we have our backbone connected, it might switch into game mode if you're on iOS device. You're gonna wanna push this button, the orange one, which is gonna come up and order and ask for the app to be installed, which is what you use to update or change the button macro combinations. You don't need this app to be able to use it with MFI certified games on iPhone. But it's nice to have if you want the social aspect or even the custom button mapping and whatnot. Once we have it downloaded, it's gonna boot up with cool animations that honestly, the Razer Kishi needs to take a lesson from the Backbone playbook. And we're just gonna press A. I already have an account. You decide if you wanna have your account. It's not necessary. You're gonna have more pop-ups, but uh, I already set it up before. It's gonna tell you you can do your streaming with Xbox, the cloud, etc., your Steam computer. But not for me, because I've already set it up. And as you can see here, it's got like a PlayStation 5 uh, vibe to it. Um, discounts, promotions, games that support uh, the controller and whatnot. And so here's the thing that you're gonna want. PS Remote Play and Xbox Remote Play. Games like Call of Duty Mobile, they'll just work. But what I'm gonna teach you to set up on how to set up your mobile backbone gaming controller, let's start with Xbox. You're gonna press that one. So yeah, you can hit here and play now, but well, you can also just open the app and I'll show you how to set that up right here. So go to the Xbox app. It's simple. Download it. It's not the Game Pass app. It's the Xbox app. And so here, as you can see, I'm logged in my Xbox account. You did it. You just need to log in. And once you do, you're going to go to this icon on the top right hand corner next to the bell. And in here, you're going to have your Xbox linked accounts, which on your Xbox, you have to configure your Xbox to stream remotely. And then you'll do this option on the top with a little gaming controller. That one is the one you hit. And then your Xbox starts booting up and we'll skip past this part for you but as I do if you like this content please subscribe hit the bell and give it a like and if you need any help let me know in the comment section below so as you can see I've started streaming you can access everything except YouTube the Microsoft Store it won't let you do that and then you can just start streaming games like Fortnite and other games the thing is that I don't recommend this for competitive gaming uh, it's not the thing for me. I mean, if you're casual enough, you can do it. The input delay is too much for me to take any fighting game serious and definitely not a shooter competitive gaming. But, but every, any, every, anything else, it's actually fair game. It works wonderfully. If I press and hold just for a second or two, boom, I get the dashboard and I can hit uh, capture a screenshot. You can hit record, but you're streaming, so it's not going to work. Uh, you can press and hold indefinitely until you get the pop-up to turn off the console or start streaming or restart, etc, etc. And that's pretty much Xbox. It's self-explanatory. It just works. And I enjoy it a lot. I've been playing a lot of uh, Blood Rain here too, revamped. It's casual enough that it works great for this setup. I forgot to quickly mention the Razer Kishi V2, which in my opinion is better hardware overall than the Backbone for a plethora of reasons. It's just the software is holding it back. I have a few videos on it popping up in the little bubble on top and at the end of the video, so make sure you check those out if you're interested. Now we're gonna do the PS Remote Play, and this one is a bit of a tricky one. Uh, because sometimes PS Remote doesn't work, it works. The Xbox One's definitely, in my experience, a lot better, more stable. Uh, the way it works is on your console, I'm going to show you the setup process on your PlayStation. 
you're going to go to your PlayStation 5 settings under system and remote play and make sure that enable remote play is turned on and then you can link your device with the app when you're trying to log in. It'll give you the code that you need in order to link your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 with your remote play device, be it your iPhone, Android, iPad, tablet or computer. And one thing you need to make sure on PS5 is that on users and accounts, head on over to other in console sharing and offline play. In this section, you need to make sure that you have enabled and that this is your main PlayStation. After that, go out and go back into system and then in power saving, make sure that you have the settings enabled so that features are available in rest mode, especially stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PlayStation 5 from network. This will allow you to boot up the console through the remote play app in case it went to sleep. Once you have that set up, you're going to come to the app and you're going to log in. It's simple. Download the PS Remote app. I'll have the link in the description. I'm just going to show you the icon for it. Remote Play is what they call it in the store. It's this one, PS Remote. Again, link in the description. And once you get this account logged in and it'll find your, in your console through the internet or your local network. And of course you can have multiple ones. Mine's called the Vanilla Tower that I set up earlier. You in settings can select mobile data, the quality of your stream if you wanna do that. Um, it has its limitations based on console, frame rate, all that good stuff. And it's pretty simple actually. You just hit the console that you're logging in and if you're first doing your login you're going to be able to just go ahead and play that's uh, the option that pops up with a message of your console that you last connected to and if you've done it before it's going to ask you for your login uh, code if you have one set up i'm going to put mine in once you do that, it'll still check up the network and whatnot, yada yada. Anyway, as you can see here, the game is running. And this is Anu uh, Mutinen. I probably butchered that pronunciation. But yeah, this one, honestly, this should be a mobile game in my opinion. It'd be perfect. But anyway, yeah, it's a fun game and it's working great. The input lag is same rules as Xbox. Not good enough for competitive or fighting games in my opinion, but for everything else, it's good. Everything else is just a toy. Let me know in the comment section if you know what movie I'm talking about. But yeah, it's wonderful. I enjoyed this uh, setup a lot. I've been doing it a lot while my wife uh, is using the TV or trying to sleep and I'm not letting our OLED TV just bright up the whole room and I'm purposely sucking, trust me. Um, yeah, that is PlayStation Remote and it works wonderfully. Now, as I mentioned, maybe you don't have your console uh, set up for local network. That's when cloud gaming comes into play with the Xbox Game Pass Cloud. And that one, I'll put the link in the description. All you need to do, you head on over to xbox.com and of course hit play now. I'm gonna have this link in the description so you can just save it. It's going to load up and do all good that good stuff. You, you need to be logged in. It's going to ask you to log in. So you log in, hit the share button there at the bottom, then hit down over here and add to home screen. You want to touch that and then save it with the name that you're going to remember. Hit add and it's going to look like this app icon. Once you open it, you get full access to it and you can play cloud games. Right now I'm going to hit up some GTA. Of course I have to re-sign in again. Right there once you're signed in you're going to get this icon that says play. Hit the play button, control or not, detect it, blah blah, that's fine. And then hit on over. It'll load up just like your console streaming and once it loads up we'll be playing Grand Theft Auto from the cloud. Now this setup of the cloud um, I've noticed it's not as good as my local console. Of course, I'm closer to that console, but maybe your Wi-Fi is trash, or maybe you don't have a console and you just want the Xbox Game Pass cloud service. Well, it'll be doable. It just depends on the download connection and the quality of the signal uh, of the connection to the router that you're connected to. And so it definitely has more variables and you're probably connecting further than just connecting to your local console. The PlayStation doesn't have an equivalent of this right now. Uh, it's only uh, streaming from your console. 
So definitely Xbox the advantage as to offering more options for us gamers on the go. Uh, here it is. Of course, it's doable. Um, like I said, not competitive, but it's fun. You get used to it. The input delay, to be honest, at first, it's a little jarring. But after, I would say, 15, 20 minutes of playing, you get used to it. Uh, nope, we don't want to save that, uh, I assume, yeah, because I honestly don't remember what I was doing over here in this save. There's so many versions of Grand Theft Auto. Let me know how many times you've bought this game. I think I've bought it like five times by now. There you go. That's how you set up your Backbone mobile gaming controller to stream games from your consoles like PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S and stream from the cloud. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I'll gladly answer and visit my socials under Richie Rich Labs. I'm your host, Enmoro7, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.